Hi everyone, Rob here from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University again. And today what I'm going to show you in this video is how to actually take an existing video from YouTube or one that you've uploaded to YouTube and embed it into your course in Moodle. Now you can embed these videos in a number of places. Uh, you can uh, The most common places would be in a content page or inside of a page in a Moodle book. So I have a page here in a Moodle book open and I have a video ready that uh, I uploaded, that I made and uploaded yesterday. So I want to embed this video in and I'm going to show you two methods of doing that, the easy way and the hard way. So the easy way for embedding one of these videos is to simply grab the URL. Um, you can do that by clicking on share here and you'll get this uh, link right here. Just copy that. Don't copy this link up here from the, to, from the uh, navigation bar. It has some extra code in it. You want to get the link down here from the sharing button. So just copy that, come back into your course, and turn on editing for your content page. Now, I'm simply going to delete this embed video notification that I have here. That was just a placeholder that I created for myself. And I'll paste in the URL. I need to make this URL active. So I click on the link button on my toolbar and I like to click on the uh, target option and change that to open in a new window. I'll show you why I do that in just a moment. So when I click insert, my link becomes active. When I hit save changes, Moodle automatically embeds the video for you onto your content page. It centers it and gives it a standard size. Now, because I clicked on that option uh, when I embedded the URL to open in a new tab, if students click on the title, it's going to open the YouTube video in another page for them. If they click on the play button, it'll play it in spot. Now, there is a more advanced way that you can embed videos in YouTube, uh, from YouTube into your Moodle course. Uh, some instances of Moodle, some institutions, don't actually have uh, this feature enabled where you uh, just put in the URL and it automatically embeds the video for you. So you would need to grab something called the embed code and then use HTML. So if you are feeling inclined to do that, this next little bit uh, will show you how to do it. And there are some nice advantages to this in that you can customize the size and position of your YouTube player on your page when you do this. So I'm going to edit my page here again now and delete this text that I had in place. And I'm going to put in my notification again, my, my placeholder. So this, I will know where to place the video. I'm going to make sure that there's no link on this. So I'll just click on break link and hit save changes for the moment. I'm going to come back over to my video in YouTube. I'm going to click on share again. And instead of grabbing this URL, I'm going to click on the embed button here. It'll open up your embed code. You can customize here what point in the video you want it to start at. Uh, I would like to leave it at zero. And I will simply copy this code to my, to my clipboard come back into my course to edit my page. Now, this is where things get a little bit tricky. If you're not used to working with HTML, this can be a little tricky for you. If your toolbar is not showing all of the options, it's only showing the one ribbon, just click on this toggle toolbar here. You'll see three rows now. Click on these double arrows, the edit HTML source. And you wanna find where you have your placeholder, embed video here. So I'm going to delete that placeholder now and paste in the embed code. Here is where you have uh, your ability to change some of these options. Your width and your height are, are formatted here in pixel width. You can change the size of these by changing these numbers. You may need to play around with them to get your ratios right. And you can also add in some HTML code if you're familiar with that to change the position of your player on the page. So I'm going to leave these as they are and click on update. You'll notice now it is it has embedded the player for me. I click on save changes and I have a larger player than I previously had with the automatic embedding. 
and it is uh, aligned to the left side of the page. Those are options, again, that you can configure if you're familiar with HTML code.